Hey students, so welcome back to the next video of curve tracing where we are going to learn the second characteristics of curve tracing that is nothing but the critical point. So critical point is again very important characteristic which helps us to find out the shape of the curve between the two points. So guys first of all what is critical point? So let me tell you that critical point has its importance in maxima and minima because we say that all local maxima and minima occurs at critical point. So here for you I'll say that local maxima or minima they occurs at critical point. Now how this critical point gonna help us in the curve tracing? So guys how do we find the critical point so let's say we have a curve y equal to f of x okay and let's say its derivative is f dash of x so if at point c or you can say that point as k if at that point c if the value of f dash of x that is f dash of c is equal to 0 or does not exist so we can say that it is kind of infinity so if the value of f dash of c is zero or does not exist at point c then that point c is called as critical point so here we are gonna check whether for the given curve the value of f dash of c is zero or does not exist and that point c will be called as critical point so here I'll say the value of x will be c at that time. So at x equal to c, we should have f dash of c as 0 or does not exist. Then that point will be called as a critical point. So basically at critical point, local maxima and minima occurs. So using this concept, we are going to understand the shape of the curve or the nature of the curve between the critical points. So guys, there are four cases. So in the first case, here I'll show you. Let's say here there are two critical points C1 and C2. So between these two critical points, there are four cases possible. So let's say at this critical point we have minima, at this critical point we have maxima. So let's say this is the minima point and this is the maximum point. So in this we'll get two cases and in other two cases I'll consider here at maxima and here as minima. So between these two points our curve might go like this or it might go like this. Similarly if I'll consider other two cases then See here, so between these two points, my curve will behave like this or it might behave like this. So there are these four cases. Now the question is how to decide the shape of the curve. That how the curve will behave out of these four cases. So guys, what we are going to do here, let's see. So we are going to consider any arbitrary point A between these two critical points and we are gonna check the first derivative and the second derivative of this function at this point A. So let's consider a point A. So guys we are considering this point A between C1 and C2. So when you put this point A in f dash of x so you will get the value of f dash of A. Similarly when you put this point in f double dash of x that time you will get f double dash of a so what we are gonna do is we are gonna observe the value of f dash of a and f double dash of a in each case so whenever the value of f dash of a is greater than 0 we say that the curve is increasing so guys here you can see that from c1 to c2 my curve is increasing so increasing so this is due to the value of f dash 
of a the value of f dash of a will be greater than zero so in both cases i'll say my curve is increasing similarly whenever the value of f dash of a is less than zero we say that the curve has the decreasing nature so here i'll say the value of f dash of a this will be less than zero and here the value of f dash of a will be less than zero so whenever the value of f dash of a is less than zero we get a decreasing curve so here you can see that my curve is decreasing from c1 to c2 so this is the decreasing curve now guys let's come to the second derivative so whenever the value of f double dash of a or second derivative of x that function second derivative function at point a so whenever that value is greater than zero we say that the given curve is concave upwards so here you can see that it is concave upwards so it means if i draw a tangent at each and every point of this curve then all those tangents will lie under the curve so let's say if i draw the tangent here it will look like this here it will look like this here it will look like this so whenever value of f double dash of a is greater than zero we say the curve is concave upwards and whenever the value of second derivative at point a is less than zero we say that the curve is concave downwards now guys in case of concave downwards curve we get all the tangents of this curve above the curve so here here i'll get the tangent here i'll get the tangent so in this case all the tangents lie above the curve so that is the concave downwards now here if you'll see then again here we have concave downwards it means the value of f double dash of a is less than zero so here i'll say concave downwards and here it will be greater than zero so concave upwards so guys in short by analyzing the value of f dash of a and f double dash of a we can easily say whether our curve is increasing and concave upwards or increasing and concave downwards or decreasing and concave upwards or decreasing and concave downwards so this is the nature of the curve which will understand by using the critical points so i'm sure that you understood this video now based on this properties we are gonna see we are gonna trace few curves so you'll understand this in a better manner so guys i'm sure that you like this video and you want to learn the more videos more concepts of engineering mathematics and curve tracing so for that log into ekira.com today itself and you can enjoy more videos unlimited at one place thank you very much